Hey guys and welcome back to Satisfactory. So I didn't like the the full thing that we had going on over here, so I decided to fix it. So what I decided is that this entire block here, this entire tile is just going to be for the movement of raw materials. So that's fine, they'll come in the front. And come around here, we managed to get a splitter in here. Managed to fit one in, then that comes out, goes into there. Then that goes into there, and then we can block off all of this so that you don't actually see it. But it is very pretty. And that way we can just have a... Just a single big... Area for this. Yeah, let's colour all of this in as well. I really shouldn't be colouring this in, it's just such a waste. <laughs> but I mean, if you're going to make it pretty, you might as well make it... Colourful? I mean, it's the complete opposite of being colourful because it's black and white, but if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you would know that that's the colours that I tend to use. And yeah, we've got a jump pad. Yee! Yee! Whoop. And it's gone. Oh, that actually freaking hurt. Alright, so, I, uh, I actually had to do this entire... Well, not the entire thing twice, but I had to do, um... A fair, a fair chunk of this twice because my my game actually crashed like mid building. I was building all these walls and I think if you're I think if you're doing something substantially like status changing in the game, when an autosave hits, you uh, the game crashes because that's what it seemed to have done. It seemed to be the autosave intervals are five minutes, and it seemed to have been like precisely on an autosave that the game crashed, so. So I think there's a bit, little bit of an issue there. Eh, uh, not that one, that one. Alright, we've got another wall to go up there and two on this side but I need to go and pick up some iron. Wait, where's, there's here. Alright, get the iron plate and that needs to go up by two, that needs to go up by two. Alright, and then that's us. That's that fully modularized. Oh, need ammo. Oh, I have no ammo. No, I must have some. Uh, I must have some flowers in here somewhere. I have six flowers. Do I have any more flowers anywhere else? It's definitely a possibility. Sure, or did I empty? No, I think I emptied all of those boxes. Maybe in my personal box in here I've got some flowers? I have no flowers. No! Where's my... No, oh, I need 25 flowers. This is bullshit! I need to go out and collect flowers?! God damn it! Hey, 25 flowers and we ain't got none. Let's go down to... this thing. All this so I can paint some things, pretty colours. Big block of white so that planes crash into it. That's my motto. Make everything as awkward for the pilots as possible. Is that Hello? Okay, you're just a strange one. I have to pick up leaves because I'm sure some of them have... Yeah, there you go, flower petals. One of the flower petals. How about these? Can I pick up these? Oh, I can! Yes! What are these buttercups? What's up, buttercups? That's 50, that's two reloads. I might as well grab 100. Yay! Pretty, pretty flowers. Alright. 
There you go, man. We'll be able to make it pretty again. But yeah, I had to. I had to make sure that I got the. I had to make sure that I got everything looking, looking nice at least. What's the point in making this nice modular system that doesn't even look good? You know, there isn't any point. What is it? Oh, there's a color cartridge. Oh, how much does this stack do? Oh, just hundred. Okay. Oh, and it loads a hundred at a time. Oh, that's not too bad then. Toss them, toss them. They can go in the bin. Okay. Sorted. Sorted. Uh, that's tab. Can remember the bloody button. All right, we're gonna make all of this look pretty. And no, I don't know what my fascination is with making things look look good on this game. I don't do it on literally any other game. Oh well, I mean, I suppose I make I make my builds look good on other games, but I don't I don't normally care for beautification. Right now, everything leading up to there looks good. You need a roof. Hello, there we go. All right. So that, as they say, is that. So we've got all of this getting transported into, or not transported, but. Oh, that's a. Conveyor wall. Right, let's paint all of this as well. This would be so much easier to paint from the outside. I don't know why I'm doing it from in here. That noise, though. Okay, now let's get the last wall. And dunk. I wish we could have doors that went like... You know what I mean. Hello! And passes overhead every now and then. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, there's our behemoth there that makes us proper cable. And that's it. Nothing else. Just a, a hella big thing that makes us copper cable. Uh, right. No, I feel like I need to bring this this way and then pull it down so that we can have it come here. The thing is, all this needs merging now into a single belt. And that's the... that's where we're at at the moment. So if I can... Uh, logistics, conveyor merger. Okay. This is a Mark II. And 
and that's a Mark III. There's our buffer chest. Okay, so what I what I need is I need to remove that, and you need to be a perpendicular conveyor there. And what I need to do is that there. I need to drop a foundation. I need to get up to that now. Which is fine, so we've got these. Oh! <laughs> I don't need the wrong piece of wall. Alright. Um, so what I need is this being a perpendicular conveyor, well that being said it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference if I need, if I need the extra, I need the extra range, for example. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So let's go and do that. It doesn't matter if I use the, the space on that other one. Foundations. There, okay. Uh, no, nope, this needs to be a Mark II conveyor belt. Okay, now. So that's that. And that's staying in its little singular area. And another. Another wall there. Alright, now let's get up onto that floor. Do I still no I don't, I took it out. I was gonna say do I still have my jump pad, but I don't. I removed it. Alright, and once we add I'm starting to feel like I should have just brought this round and went up that way instead, just to make it even. Okay, drop some foundations. Hopefully you, uh, you guys are finding this actually helpful in order to make um, in order to make something that actually functions. All right, and then I need a. Set a merger there. 
if you got perpendicular on one. Okay, that looks like it's perfectly in there. Alright, unfortunately that needs upgrading to Mark III as well. I'm hella confused. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, wait, 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 what's going on? But it's backlogs. Backlogs are messing up. So there we go. We've got the the output of that all coming down, and look at how nice this looks. Like, this is what happens when you actually spend the time you do something properly. It looks epic. Okay, now let's go fill up that storage container with beautiful, beautiful coils, and that is. Uh, that will go at the full speed of a Mark III. It won't look good though until... Let's remove that power line and disconnect it all. That way we'll get through... What is it? Six... I need six stacks of this stuff. We'll get through it all and then we'll see that the throughput should be perfect when we turn it all back on again. All of these belts should be not fully laden. But this the last belt can only go at the same speed as all the machines, so I need to let it drain. I mean I could go and pick up all the all the copper wires to make it quicker. I mean that, that's probably the best idea, isn't it? Really? In fairness, probably the best idea. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, so I suppose that's the problem with the fact that they, they stack so high, the copper wires, is it'll take a while for it to, uh, to fully run out. Yeah, this is what I should have done with this, I should have come up to here, up, turned, straight to the end, up and, yeah. up and round, that's what I'm going to do. Everything else looks beautifully neat, except this. So, organization, walkway, straight. Ooh, that. Nope. Even all of this isn't nice. See, this should be... That needs to be removed. We need a wall here. Okay, now we need a... A door like that. Then the hell? Do I actually need to do in order to get this to start there? What oh, fucking pain in the ass? Also, that I can just have a nice little ramped walkway here that starts halfway. 
equipment and throw Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't even know what that was connected to. Probably everything that matters ever. No, I think it was just there. Right. Ram, 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 ram. Okay, now make a wall with a door right. Organization, AT crossing. Here. Alright then. That needs to be a turn, doesn't it? Okay, and a door right. There we are. Much nicer. I mean, I would like to be able to do it with jump pads, I guess. There we go. Right, why the fuck was I coming in here? Oh, of course, to uh, to clear out the the wires. Okay, and then head back downstairs and clear out those wires. At least I can skip like that, though. All right, now let's go and dump them in the box. It's an awful lot of wire already. Okay, and that's the fi final stuff from the belts. Alright, now if we were to Hook everything back up. There we go, it should be almost an entire belt worth. Perfect. It comes down, so it's 90, yeah, it's 90 items a second on 120 belt, then it comes down onto 270, but then this, once it's all lined up, this should be full. Yeah, there you go, that looks pretty much full to me. Alright, full throughput on a Mark III belt, perfect. But unfortunately guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching, I've been CG, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.